What's going on guys? Welcome to the match reaction. That is Man United 2, Barcelona 1 and we have done it. We are true and that was literally the toughest, toughest, toughest game we could have got. And my partner is a Barca fan and I have bragging rights at home. I have bragging rights at home. We won. We played amazingly well in Camp Nou. Two all. We come here and I felt so confident. I knew, I like, I just feel it with Ten Hag, with these players. I just feel it that we have something going on. Something's cooking. Something is cooking. I'm so happy. I'm actually so happy. I said before the game, we're going to win. We are going to win. I said to Yahi, we're winning. She was like, no, no, no. Barca's going to do it. No, no, no. Barca, we're missing players. Fair enough. But United are on this roll. Old Trafford has become a fortress. And it is always going to be tough for a team coming here. And it was. We made it tough. Yeah, we went down. <laughs> Penalty. The ref was pathetic. I see. I see what Bruno shouldn't have done. And he should have been smarter. Not to grab Balde. Well, put his arm there. But this happens every day in football. This happens in youth football. Kids football. You see kids at it. And penalties aren't given. And in that sense, I just felt that the ref, as soon as he saw it, like Balde didn't even hit the ground. And the ref had already whistled. He knew it, what he was doing right then and there. The ref had whistled for a penalty. Why do I feel mad? We won the game. <laughs> we won the game. Our Brazilian boys saved us. And do you know what? These Brazilian lads, you know, there's always been this thing that Brazilian players don't do well at United. And this is now when it is all changing. These Brazilian lads are really doing it for us. They're helping, they're doing well, they're scoring goals. And I just feel so happy with that little connection. There's obviously the Brazilian connection, the Portuguese connection. And they're getting on so well with all the other players. You just feel like it's such a unit. It's lovely, it's happy. You can see the camp, they're all just mates. They're fighting for each other. Anyway, 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 anyway. So Lewandowski gets the penalty. Um, David De Gea, poor him. Like I just, I just always feel like when it's a penalty against us, it's going in. I never feel like he's gonna save it. And then when I heard his hand connecting with the ball, I was like, oh, is this finally our moment that David De Gea saves a penalty and of all penalties, won against Lewandowski playing Barcelona in a knockout game. Um, so unlucky that I hit the the post and you know, but look, this is this is it. This is football and majority of the time when we give away a penalty it's a goal so you we, we just kind of used to that all we need to do is make sure we dust ourselves off and go again so obviously I felt that we have a lot of time we had a lot of time left in the game so yeah the way we're playing the way Rashford's form is which he wasn't actually on top of his game today but anyway that's allowed Um, I just felt that we'll get back into this we will and <laughs> who of all people but Fred who had played such a good game, especially in that second half. He was just unbelievable. And the goal was really good. Um, just smashed it right into the goal, bottom bottom right hand corner. And yeah, the, the pundits were like, oh, it hit his shin, but it doesn't matter. It, you've hit the ball, that's what you're intending to do. And it was a very good goal. So yeah, really, really happy for Fred. He deserves it. He gets a lot of stick. Um, he has over the years. Maybe he hasn't performed as we would want him to at times but I do feel like especially this season he's really come good and he's gotten his goals Um, you know you don't see Fred shooting and people are just laughing at him he can shoot he can score goals so I'm, I'm happy to see that Um, obviously Barca you know they, they had worrying moments but one thing I just hate about Barcelona is they dive so much dive 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 looking for freeze and the refs give it to them all the time they call them UEFA Lona I don't really do that because my partner will probably be upset with me for, you know, saying it and yeah, but I do feel like it's true. I really do, especially United have played Barcelona so many times now, especially in my lifetime. And I just feel like, oh my God, when will we catch a break? And especially with Spanish teams, we have such bad luck against Spanish teams. And then when the penalty went, went, was given, I was like, oh no, here we go. Like, is it going to be one of them games where the ref is just giving us nothing and we can't get anything out of the game? 
But um, yeah, you just felt a total lift, especially in the second half with the you know the changes helped as well. Um, but yeah, taking off Weghorst was was a massive massive deal for us, and I feel bad for him because he's trying, but he is it, it is kind of like playing with ten at at times. Um, it's just not not working really. So Anthony coming in, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm kind of doing this all backwards, but look, it's freestyle, so here we go. Um, but Anthony, yeah, coming in, really, really did well, changed the game. And then, of course, gets that goal. So you you saw what happened. I think it was put out to Garnacho. He has a shot. Then it, then Fred has a shot. It's, it's all rebounding, rebounding. And then it comes to Anthony, and he takes it on the volley, basically just walloped into the left-hand corner. And um, what a goal. Brilliant, brilliant goal with his left foot, of course. And Anthony deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves to get that winner. And <laughs> we are going through. I'm so happy. Because, like, that's a statement. That is a statement win. Um, firstly, because we haven't been able to do it against Spanish teams. Um, you saw it against Villarreal, even in the Europa League final. Like, it was just depressing. I cried on my live stream which that was probably my, my most heartbreaking moment on YouTube. Um, that was really hard. So, you know, to kind of get this, we've always done bad against Spanish teams in the last few years. So to get that win and to have that really good performance away at the new Camp, I think we, you know, we deserve that. And now we go into Sunday's Carabao Cup final on a high. Yeah, there's going to be tired legs. But I feel like this team fight for each other. This team don't give up. And yeah, I just feel really happy. Really, really happy with this team. I used to say like a few years back or maybe even, yeah, maybe last year that the the disconnect with the fans or with the players was just awful. You didn't feel any connection with them. Um, but it's all back again and, and it feels really good. I'm just so happy. And again... Bragging rights at home. Man United beat Barcelona. We go through. We're in a cup final. We're still in all competitions as far as it goes. Um, and I'm feeling really confident. I think everyone played well. David De Gea did scare the shit out of me at one point. Um, when Martinez passed it back to him. And then he kind of just kicks it straight through his box at a Barca player. Thankfully, our defenders were ready. Thankfully, our defenders were switched on and strong. Um, they have been strong throughout. And speaking of strong, Sandro Martinez is an absolute dog. He is a beast. He had such a good game today. He's probably my man of the match. Just tackles perfect. Um, everything he did, he, he just... You know, people are always giving man of the match to the ones who scored the goals, but... Sandro Martinez saves our asses often, all the time. He's so good, and it's so it's so nice to have him back after missing him last week. You know who knew, who knows we could have won that game last week had we have had him as well. Um, but he he literally just throw his granny in front of a bus to stop a goal, even if that doesn't really make sense. But he would, he does not care. He would do anything to stop us from conceding the goal. And I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> Casemiro, like all the lads, so good today. So good. The only one was Weghorst that didn't really do anything. It's just, I think the slowness, the pace, just, it, it's hard. But I feel bad for him. I'm not hating on him. Um, I think the changes were perfect from Ten Hag. And I just love seeing Ten Hag's passion on the sideline. Obviously, uh, after the other day against Leicester, he was saying, come on, Thursday, bring it. Um, and the fans did that. Like, the stadium was electric. They were so loud. They were so loud. I, I almost wanted the pundits to shut up just so I could hear Old Trafford. It was fantastic and um, really enjoyable to see, to hear all the songs. And then, like, obviously interacting with Barca when they were diving. Lewandowski dived a lot. Um, and he was in, you know, in a lot of little tussles, and and Mar Martinez as well, showing uh, Lewandowski who's boss, like he's a lot smaller than him, and he got in there a lot, which he does all the time, so it's not a surprise. But yeah, really, really happy. I'm gonna just check through the stats a little bit, 
um, just because I was so engrossed in the game I barely looked at my phone um, and I don't really know what went on apart from what was literally happening in the moment and then obviously I had Yahi coming in talking to me and um, being the Barca fan that she is just yeah it was it was an intense few minutes towards the end and um, United 12 shots five on target Barcelona six shots three on target David De Gea had a really really good save toward the end there and um, Jules Kunde had a header as well I think and um, Lewandowski's chance like with two minutes ago that was that was scary so fair play to David De Gea I think he did fantastic in those moments and um, Barca had more possession which you'd kind of expect um, 58% possession they had um, yeah a good bit of passes our pass accuracy 71% not great. Barca had 80. I would expect us to do a bit better, but I think the way Barca play, they make it hard, um, much harder than not your your average team. Um, but yeah, Fells 13 for us, 12 for them, and three yellow cards each per team. One offside each, and literally one corner for United and two corners for Barcelona. Um, so yeah, not much going on in that way. It was such a good game and um, overall both both games over the two legs really really good really enjoyable for for just even a neutral fan and um, but I'm just uh, like I hurt I'm sore from smiling I just feel so good I'm gonna sleep well tonight and we go to the next one and the next game is a final finally we might see some silverware <laughs> And it's Ten Hag's like he's only he's only here a while, um. But this team deserve it. And do you know what? I really look forward to Bruno being able to hopefully lift a trophy because he deserves it. He deserves it. They all do. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the game. Come on, United! Woo! If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, drop a like, and thank you for watching.